So I want to talk about uh, substrate material. Um, if you've done any research, you're going to find uh, quite a bit of information online about oyster mushrooms. Some of it's commangled with uh, other types of mushrooms, primarily cubensis, which is a psychedelic mushroom. Uh, it has very specific growing requirements, unique from oyster mushrooms. So you got to read between the lines and be careful on the sources that you're consulting in regard to substrate material. Uh, oysters frequently you'll find grow well on uh, just chopped up wheat. Um, and, and that's a reasonable uh, material to grow on. Most people will supplement that with cottonseed hull and then they'll mix in a little bit of wheat bran. Those three ingredients produce some of the best yields for a pound of substrate. It's usually 40% uh, chopped wheat, 40% cottonseed hull, and 20% wheat bran provides a good carbon to nitrogen ratio. But that doesn't mean there's other things you can't grow on. For example, we're looking here at double cut pasture grass. We have a chipper shredder. We run our pasture grass through it twice and that cuts it down to a nice grain. Um, and you can see here uh, roughly the size. It's just basically, as you can see, chopped up pasture grass. Um, we find that we get actually better yields off chopped pasture grass than we do off straight double cut wheat chaff. Now there's a little bit of wheat chaff mixed in here. Um, we, uh, we get what we can at the lowest price, uh, generally speaking, and so sometimes in the year we just can't get good pasture grass so we convert back to wheat. Now we don't get cottonseed hull here in central Indiana very cheaply, but what we do have, and we get this for $15 a pickup truck load, is plain old fashioned southern Indiana hardwood sawdust. There's a local mill near us and they manufacture pallets from um, various types of hardwood, primarily black oak, white oak, red oaks. We have maple mixed into this. We also have uh, a little bit of birch, not so much, and there's probably a little bit of, I said maple, there's probably some sweet gum in there. Mostly it's probably 80% by weight um, oak, oak and uh, black walnut. So this is a great supplement, and so we add in our little mixing tub, uh, we have a box right here, and we'll put four boxes of shaken and not crushed hay grass in our mixing tub and then we'll mix nine containers of this right into that material and then it'll go plop right into that pasteurizing tub.